What's up, you guys? This is me, Dan, the My Little Pony, and Sophia, the first fan here. Today, we're going to be doing another episode review on Season 6, Episode 4 of Blue's Clues, which is called Joe's Clues. It's kind of like Blue's Clues, only Joe leaves an orange handprint. So, this is about when the gang plays Joe's Clues instead of Blue's Clues. So, Blue goes searching for Joe's three handprints, and Polka Dots has made up a game. So, anyways, let's go over a couple of scenes so I can tell you what happens in that episode. So anyways, let's go through a couple of scenes. So, Joe has hid his first clue to an animal that has webbed feet, yellow feathers, and a beak. Do you know that answer to the first riddle? That's right, it's a duck. A duck may, uh, may has the first clue. But when we found the duck, the duck actually gave it to a friend of him. So, the duck just gave the first clue to a fairy tale character, which is a girl who wears a red cape that finds a wolf inside her grandmother's bed. And that was Little Red Riding Hood which I'm pretty sure it was Jennifer Manning's favorite fairy tale story. So anyways, Little Red Riding Hood gave the first clue to Joe. Because you know what? Joe really was the first clue. So anyways, during mail time, Mailbox gave us a letter because the second clue was in the letter. And do you know who the letter is from? That's right. The letter was from one of our friends. Because... Because this friend in, from the letter just told us that the second clue was in her backyard. So we skidooed into the letter to get that second clue. So, so we followed one of our friends, and then she told us that the second clue was inside something that has yellow with red spots, which is definitely the curtains. And then we opened up the curtains, and then we realized that the second clue was on the stage. And then, finally, Joe has told us that his last clue was inside his backpack. So, we have to skidoo into the book to chase, to chase after Joe. To get that clue. And then we caught him. But do you know what the last clue is, right? Well, I'll tell you what the last clue really is. The last clue was really a kazoo. So yeah, Joe, a stage, and a kazoo are the three clues... To what Joe's surprise is. And do you want to know the answer to those clues? Yep. Joe's surprise is definitely... A sh is definitely a show that Joe was about to perform. And do you know what type of show he was performing? Yep. It's called the Joe Show. Because that duck... And Little Red Riding Hood was played by Joe all along. 
because I didn't even know that the duck and Little Red Riding Hood had been played by Joe in his own show on stage. After that, we went into Blue's room to play one of Polka Dot's game that Polka Dot's made up. So, Polka Dot's has left three puzzle pieces, which is kind of like finding three clues. So, we find all three of those puzzle pieces that Polka Dot's left, and then we put these three puzzle pieces together, and that became a present. Because that was Polka Dot's game that he made up. Can you guess the type of game that Polka Dots made up? That's right, it's called Polka Dots Puzzle Surprise. You know, I remember that Polka Dots made up that game in every episode of Season 1 of Blue's Room, if you don't know. So yeah... So, I really love that Season 6 episode of Blue's Clues. Without a doubt, I'm going to have to give that episode, like, an 85,432.1 out of 10 stars. So, I thank you guys so much for watching this episode review. If you enjoyed this episode review, then please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. Hit the notification bells to let me know when when I post. And make sure to share it with your friends and family members too. Because I really appreciate it for you all. So, I'm off now. And until next time, see ya!